Once we understood what a case study is and how case study types differ, we can enter the detailed description of the case study design and implementation process. In order to rigorously and soundly apply case studies as a research method, a set of steps must be followed. The first step starts with the definition of the problem. Here, researchers should ask themselves, are my ideas interesting to anyone? This phase is followed by the definition of the objectives, which means answering to the question, what do I want to find? And the decision about the theoretical lenses to be adopted in investigating and interpreting the case. To address the question, what's the role of the extant literature in my study? This phase is followed by the methodology definition. Researchers define the units of analysis and select the relevant cases. Once the cases have been selected, data needs to be collected and analyzed, and findings can finally be interpreted. The process ends with a conclusive phase that encompasses the evaluation and assessment of the case study. Let's start by focusing on the preliminary steps of setting the problem, defining objectives, and framing the analysis in extant theories. During the first phase, that encompasses the definition of the problem or topic, there are a number of aspects that need to be addressed. First of all, the significance of the topic is questioned, that is, its theoretical relevance and its broader practical impact for individuals and society. Researchers should take on grand challenges. Another important aspect is the novelty of the topic. Would your study and its finding change the conversation that is already taking place in a given literature stream and related community of academics and practitioners? The third aspect to be taken care of is curiosity since catching and holding the reader's attention is key to stimulate a fruitful discussion around your study. Do the propositions you put forward counter a reader's taken-for-granted assumptions? One technique to possibly catch attention involves using mystery as a metaphor thus creating in the reader a desire to solve or reformulate the mystery. Then, the problem scope should be defined to cast a wider net. The best topics set out to fully and comprehensively sample the landscape in a given domain, thus being appealing to a broad group of people and organizations. Lastly, a topic should be actionable, as it should offer insights for managerial or organizational practice.